studio bovine today in the studio is Paul Williams from MSD Animal Health. Welcome. Hello there. You gave a presentation today about uh, the storage temperature of, uh, of vaccines and the effect it has. Why were you curious in, in finding out uh, about that? Well, we know it's really important to keep vaccines within a specific temperature range for storage because if you, if you don't, you can potentially damage the vaccine. Um, and there's a lot of monitoring done within the vaccine supply chain, say within the manufacturing uh, and also down in the vet channel. Uh, in the UK, it's not uncommon for vaccines to be stored on farm prior to use. And little monitoring is actually done uh, of the fridges that are used to store vaccine on farm. So I was really quite interested to actually go out and just record some temperatures on farm fridges and, and try and get a feel of what was potentially happening. Exactly. What did you find? Well, it was a little bit, a bit worrying. We um, put uh, temperature data loggers in 17 fridges. And what we actually found is that in 14 of those fridges, there were periods where the temperature was elevated above 8 degrees centigrade. Uh, for a long enough period of time to potentially have an impact on, on the vaccine stored there. Uh, and which was perhaps just as worryingly, if, or if not more so, in seven of the fridges, the uh, temperature dropped to freezing or below, again for long enough to freeze any vaccine that was actually stored uh, within the fridge. And one of the things that happens is if a, uh, a dead vaccine is frozen, that can damage it and when you thaw the vaccine again, it doesn't repair. So that, fro that, that is an irreversible damage that the farmer might not be aware of. Exactly. So that's also a loss of money for the farmer then. It is indeed. Yeah. And what are like practical tips for uh, to, to store vaccines on, on a farm? Uh, well, certainly one of the things I'd always say to farmers is, do you actually need to keep the vaccine on your farm in the first place? Could you keep it with the veterinary practice, go and collect it on the day of the use, and get it into the animals as quickly as possible. But I totally appreciate that's not practical or possible for all farmers to do. So just be aware, you know, if you're investing in the vaccine, what can you do to ensure you're storing it correctly? Um, just maintaining the fridge, so keeping the back of the fridge um, clean, so we've got good airflow going around the fridge so the fridge can keep the temperature down. Ideally, we don't want to use a fridge that's also got an ice box or an ice compartment in it, so just a fridge that's got a refrigerator compartment. But also think about what you might do keeping the vaccine in the fridge. So keeping the vaccine probably towards the middle of the fridge, keeping it in its packaged contents, um, doing things such as not just overstocking the fridge. And you can also um, put water bottles in the fridge, not frozen, just, just standard water bottles, uh, and they just help uh, maintain a more stable fridge environment. And I think the other thing we say is just if you're going to look, if you're going to have fridges that are quite old on the farm, um, just check the door seals are, are still working because if the fridge door seals uh, are damaged, then the fridge is going to struggle to keep the temperature down. Exactly. Are there specific fridges that are better to store vaccines? Um, well, you can get uh, fridges that are designed specifically for storing vaccines, and clearly those are the ideal, but they are more expensive. So no, if, if you, you can store vaccines in um, normal domestic fridges, and just really following those tips that we talked about, making sure the fridge is well maintained, clean, uh, ideally just using it for storing vaccines and nothing else, um, you can actually just use a normal fridge uh, and just you know just make sure the vaccine is stored correctly. And okay, what can you say about the placement of the fridge? Is that important? Yes, I mean ideally you want to have the fridge so that it can have good air flow around it. But what the fridge needs to do is it's sucking the warm air out of the fridge, cooling the fridge down, and it has to get rid of that warm air out of the back. So if we don't get good circulation around a fridge, um, or the fridge back is very dirty, for example, cobwebs and those sort of things they can have an impact on the ability of the fridge to keep itself cool. Is there also technology available for farmers to get an alert if something goes wrong in the fridge? Yes, that's one of the things that uh, if we learn from human medicine, they do use technology and there are data loggers available that you can put in the fridge and what they will do is they will send you, for example, a me email alert yeah. when the fridge temperature drops. So, you know, clearly uh, they might not be appropriate for all farmers, but if the farmers are, are keeping a substantial amount of vaccine on the farm, then investing in some of that technology to alert them when potentially the fridge might not be forming as it should, will be allow them to actually take some corrective action. 
Exactly. Thank you so much for your practical insights. Thank you. Thank you for watching Studio Bovine and hope to see you again.